This message is from the Social Security A complaint has been filed against you and your social security. This is the Medicare Department calling California. Now is the time to act. I get robocalls daily. Sound familiar? Robocalls, they are the number one complaint to multiple government agencies. Research shows just last month alone, Americans tried to dodge more than 147 million robocalls. So all this week, we set out to find out why they just keep coming and what you can do to stop them. At 1 o'clock p.m., we will march to the Capitol building. Warning, warning, this is your coronavirus alert system. Whether you have a landline or a mobile phone, it doesn't matter. There's a call there and they're trying to scam you. All you need is your laptop and a mouse and a credit card. And you go online and after two hours of Googling, you'll be calling thousands, tens of thousands, or even millions of people. Okay, let's stop our story for a moment and consider Mark. Hi, Mark. Mark doesn't know it yet, but in this group, he's the Mark. And Patsy? Hi, Patsy. Yeah, she's the Patsy. You might not fall for that robocall, but Mark and Patsy, they tend to live up to their names. And the problem is, in a country of millions and millions of phone numbers, their numbers amount to a pair of needles in a haystack of needles. Ouch! It all makes the search for them a game, a game of chance. Not long ago, the rules were simple. One quarter, one pull, one call. Hello? Hello? Slow, methodical, and not terribly productive. <sighs> Which makes now the perfect time to talk about the robo half of the robocall. Automation turns one pull every 10 seconds into 10,000 calls every second. Yeah, that's happening. It is millions of people a day. And if you just get a 0.01% rate of people that start to take that message seriously, and of those, if just 1% of those progress to the next step, it might be one in a million, but if you get a couple of those a day, you've scored pretty big. And the phone bill for that, hundreds of dollars. Hundreds for millions of rolls of the dice stacking the deck against you and your odds of a quiet, peaceful, robocall-free night, all while turning each one of us into a mark or a patsy in a game where the odds are no longer in your favor. Spoofing is, is to call somebody using robo-dialing technology and make it look like the call is coming from Apple Computer or Microsoft and that they're calling you um, because you have uh, a credit if you just give them your credit card number. This is Erie from Apple Support. They will spoof a caller ID like they're from the IRS and they will call you and tell you that you have an overdue tax bill of $7,000 and that there's a warrant out for your arrest for non-payment of taxes but you could settle it today for $500 pennies on the dollar if you if you go ahead and, and send us the money today we'll close this matter out. The IRS has now made available new programs. If you're making millions and you pay a fine that's in the tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's a cost of doing business. Going to jail is one thing, but paying money, it's just another bill you have to pay. Hello, this is why we Solar Research Group on a recorded line. Hi, this is Tom with Benefit Advisor on a recorded line. So do you want to know if maybe you're getting more calls than the average person? Right now on creme.com, we've set it up so you can search your city or your area code to see how it all stacks up and what types of calls you are likely getting the most. That's where you'll also find a number of different resources on ways you can help stop some of those calls. So I want you to walk over here with me because I'm going to walk you through the exact process. Once you get to our website, our main page, creme.com, you're going to see this tab right here at the top. It's called Stop the Robocalls. That's our main page. So once you click on that, that's going to take you here 
to this page. Once you get there, it's going to walk you through different things like adding your name or your number to the do not call list. You're going to see here, you can actually watch that story once again. And if you scroll down, you're going to see all the different steps. How do I stop the calls? Add your name to the do not call list. Hang up and block. It's also going to show you how to add spam filters or robo call blocking apps. A number of different things that are absolutely confirmed to work and at least help limit some of those calls. Also tomorrow, we're going to hear from one woman who understands the real cost of all these robocalls is sometimes much more than money. That is tomorrow right here on Creme 2 News at 6. Boy, it's certainly a topic everyone can relate to, right? Everyone gets these calls yeah. and everyone is tired of them. And what I've noticed is they try to make it look like it's coming from a similar totally. phone number as yours, yes. right? So you answer it. You're like, oh, hello, must be someone yeah, I know. So annoying. Not. All right. Well, it was a nice